Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are so appreciative on behalf of the citizens of Auburn and the Auburn City Council, the staff at the City of Auburn and the Economic Development Department that's uh, instrumental in putting this together, as well as our Memorial Day celebration and honoring those that have made the ultimate sacrifice on Memorial Day. I'm appreciative of everyone involved. Today, the national anthem will be done by the Auburn High School varsity singers under the direction of Aaron Smith. So if you please give them your attention. Oh, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we And bright stars through the perilous fight. All the ramparts we lost were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets rang out. The bombs bursting and came through through the night, and a flag was still there. Thank you, Aaron. We are so appreciative of all of you being here this morning and honoring us with your presence and doing the national anthem for us. Our color guard today is the Auburn High School Junior ROTC, uh, directed by Sergeant Major Wayne Johnson. And now our invocation by Dr. Johnny Green, Services Service Coordinator for Auburn University Student Veterans. Johnny. Good morning. Let us Good pray. Morning. Rock of Ages, we thank you for all who have served in the armed forces of this country. We thank you for the freedom that sacrifice has earned and guarded for us. Help us to prize this freedom and use it well. We ask you to bless all living veterans in a special way today, as well as the families of all veterans. Comfort those who grieve, for those who gave the last full measure of devotion. Strengthen those who bear physical, emotional, and spiritual wounds, and stand with those who provide care to them. Move us to reach out to sisters and brothers who are veterans or relatives of veterans or who currently serve in the military. And finally, we pray, O oh God, for the day when no one needs to serve in the military. Help us now live in anticipation of that day, as all people who long for peace, who pray for peace, and who seek to be peacemakers in this world. In Christ our Lord, we pray. Amen. Thank you, John. Thank you, Johnny. You know, today's a day that started out as Armistice Day. But today's a day that we're here to give thanks for all of those that have served in our military. All of those that have protected us through the years and protected our country and our rights as citizens of the United States. So at this time, I'd like to ask, I'd like to give a big thank you, but I'd like to ask all of those that have served in the military to raise your hands. Thank you, and thank you very much for being here so that we might honor you, and certainly, also very important are those relatives of those that have served in the military, either children or spouses uh, or relatives of those in the military. So if you would raise your hands and let us thank you as well. You know, uh, through the years, uh, 
many of you that have been at our events like this, either Memorial Day or Veterans Day, have heard me say time and again, there's no, there's no bad time to thank a veteran, whether you're in a, an airport or a train station or anywhere, anytime, when you see someone in, in the uniform or that you know that they have served our country, there's uh, no bad time to walk up to someone that has served us and say thank you and let them know how, how grateful we are that they have served in the military and protected our very freedom that we enjoy every day. So I urge all of us to do that on a regular basis. Today uh, we are very honored for an in, to have an individual that I've had the great pleasure to get to know over the past number of months. An individual that actually uh, graduated from high school in Lee County at Opelika High School. Lieutenant General Ron Burgess was commissioned in military intelligence through Auburn University's ROTC program in 1974. He earned a Master of Science degree in education from the University of Southern California in 1980 and a Master of Military Arts and Science from the U.S. Army Command and General Staff College in 86. General Burgess is a very modest individual and, and he would tell you that you don't, need to rec you don't need to recognize me by any of those things. But Ron was the uh, Director of National Intelligence in Washington, D.C. and was there in D.C. for 10 years. But the most important thing is Ron Burgess, General Burgess, is here now living in Lee County and he is working with Auburn University. General Burgess is heading up the cyber initiative for on the Auburn University campus. Now what does that mean? That means a lot more than I understand. <laughs> But that means uh, a lot of things about our security and our cyber security every day. Every time you send an email or you may uh, access different accounts or go to different uh, scenarios that you use your computer for, it means security there. But above and beyond that, it means security uh, through the military ranks and and Ron uh, may or may not tell you a little bit more about that, but he is an incredibly intelligent individual. He's an incredibly humble individual, and we are so glad that he is in Lee County. He has uh, more accolades and recognitions than we will name today, but I can tell you we are glad to have him back, and he is Auburn through and through, General Burgess. Thank you, Mayor Ham, and thanks to the other distinguished uh, guests that are here today. But more importantly, <laughs> thank you to each of you veterans that are here today. As I say, I resemble that remark, <laughs> and it honors me, and it honors this nation that you would take time to be here for this recognition, but we also need to thank those that are here today to honor you. And this state has a great tradition in this regard. And so on behalf of those veterans, I would just like to say thank you to the folks that are here today for this ceremony. Uh, Auburn, Opelika, Lee County has been doing this for a while. You know, Veterans Day actually got started uh, back at the end of the First World War. So for the ROTC folks back here and all, and for the high school students, you're gonna get a history lesson here for just a second. So, you know, our nation recognized at the end of World War I with a signing of a proclamation on Armistice Day at that time as it was called. Because World War I actually came to an end, not officially, because there still had to be some kinks worked out, but it happened on November 11th of 1918. And so this day for a while came to be known as the holiday that would be celebrated officially in this nation 
at the eleventh minute of the eleventh hour on the eleventh day of the eleventh month. That's the history of this day. And our president at that time signed a proclamation, and so we started celebrating it on November 11th of 1919. Our nation moved away from that day because we move holidays around, you know. I'm not going to say anything about government today with the mayor here. But, you know, <laughs> politicians do different things for different reasons, and so we move some things around. But later on here in the last century, we moved it back to the day that it was intended to be on when it was set up. And so we're here to celebrate uh, that day. But as I said, this region has a great history on that. In fact, the first Veterans Day parade was actually held in the state of Alabama in the city of Birmingham in 1947, which is when the first real recognition was done other than folks just showing up for ceremonies and doing that. But we're here today to celebrate the strength, the courage, and dedication of our veterans because these veterans have done what, as Mayor Ham and Johnny Green have talked about, in terms of service to their nation, and some have given that last full measure of devotion. The brave actions of our veterans endure in the pages of history. So today, I would like us to not only remember their gallantry on the battlefield, but we must look at the lasting legacy of strength and service that they brought with them when they returned home. If you walk away from today's ceremony remembering three things, in my mind you will understand what our veterans do for this nation, and more importantly, what we as citizens can do to help them. First, our veterans are veterans for life. During their careers and their lives, and you can see this throughout history, they continue to improve their skills ensuring that they remain strong for themselves, their families, their communities, and their nation. Second, all of our services, Army, Air Force, Marines, Navy, and Coast Guard, are committed to lifelong success for our veterans and their families by connecting them with their opportunities for employment, education, and health care post-military service. And I can tell you in my time back here in the state since I returned, I have been humbled as I have interacted with not only your city leaders, with county leaders, with state leaders, and citizens like yourself that are trying to work and figure out how to assist those veterans that are returning as we, a nation, come out of our longest period of sustained conflict in our history. Finally, third point, we can't do this alone. Supporting our veterans requires a team approach by the services that we all come from, other government agencies, and most importantly, and represented here today, the local community. So on behalf of the veterans that are here, on behalf of those that continue to serve this nation, as we say, those that are standing watch around the globe as we speak, representing them, I want to thank each and every one of you for being here today, for the recognition of our veterans, for your patriotism, and for your attendance. May God bless you and may God continue to bless the United States of America. Thank you, General Burgess. We are indeed uh, fortunate to have you back with us in, at Auburn University and in Lee County. Today, the uh, Drake Middle School Choir, under the direction of uh, Chris Deason, will present to you land that we love. Chris?
Thank you so much, Chris, and thanks to each one of you. You know, ladies and gentlemen, between the Varsity Singers and the Drake Singers and our Junior ROTC, we are, re are very well represented in, th in this community by our future. So we thank each of you for being here today on a day that school is out to, uh, uh, in honoring our veterans. So uh, Drake, as well as so many of our schools, does a fantastic job in honoring our veterans uh, in the week prior to this where they have events at our different school campuses asking our veterans to come, whether they be uh, members of the community, grandparents, parents, whatever. And while I'm mentioning that, those of you show me a sign by raising your hand if you have either these are your young kids or they're related to you. Great. Well, you should be proud. Thank you very much. Uh, we will move forward with the wreath laying here momentarily. I, I want to give uh, special recognition and thank Dan Drummond. Dan is here year in and year out and uh, does a great job with the bagpipes. Dan, we appreciate you being here every year and we thank you for your service. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our program this morning. I want to thank Bud Naismith, Staff Sergeant Bud Naismith, who is also one of our police officers here in the city of Auburn, and certainly uh, General Burgess for assistance in the wreath laying. Have a wonderful day, and thank a veteran. Thank you.